Hey guys, it's Infinite, and in this is episode 2 of Ribri's Ultimate Team Adventure. We're going to start off this episode by unlocking Ben Arfa. I needed some more offense on this club, and I figured he was the first person I needed to unlock, because just having Ribri up front, as good as Ribri is, he just gets smothered by even silver and bronze defenders. When people start holding the right bumper and triple teaming him, there's nothing I could do. So, Ben Arfa was a great person to add in the beginning. He has five-star skills as well and comes in from the right side on his left foot because he's a lefty. So the first match we're going to play here, or the first and only match we're going to play, is against another American team. And this guy was a decent player, but he definitely got his fair share of luck throughout this game. But luckily, I was able to get Ribery out in the open and score another beautiful finesse goal. Again, I probably said this a million times, but finesse is where he is at his best. Crazy curve. I was taking some free kicks last night against my buddy. We just mess around. And I almost scored from a corner. He's nuts. He's insane. With his, he's got 88 curve. That's probably one of the highest in the games. But as you guys just saw, I conceded a penalty. Awful slide tackle on my part. That, you know, it just happens. I mean, messed up. And that stuff happens. So, and now it's going to... We're moving on 1-1 one, one here. And luckily, I was able to get, you guessed it, Rivery again out in the open. And he's just too good. He's going to cut in. And that was in the 89th minute. So I thought this game was sealed, right? And at a minute 50 in the video, you guys are probably like, oh, here comes two more games. No, this guy is going to, I'm just playing too passively on defense, and I give up a goal in the 90th minute. And it was kind of a fail on my part, but it was also awful goalkeeping. I mean, that's something he should have definitely saved. But what are you going to do? This guy surprisingly decided to go extra minutes and pen and penalties with me, and I Thought he was going to go for the draw because, like I said, I was dominating most of this game. But I like that mentality. Even when I get dominated, I like to go for the pens too. And what am I going to give up, guys? A bullshit goal. How does he even get this cross in? Never mind that accurate. And, of course, Donovan's not going to miss that on a bronze keeper. So I'm scared. I'm thinking this game is over. But... I started this series with Frank Ribery for a reason. And you guys are going to see after this replay is over. I don't even know why I included this replay. But really nice finish by Landon Donovan. But fear not, we have Ribery. And Ribery is going to put a little bit of skill there. Go on a run and catch it on the volley with his left foot. And look at that finish. That was so clutch in the 101st minute. Honestly, guys, this was a tough game. I took a lot of shots on goal, but like none of them were great. Um, he was really taking advantage of me having weak defense and a weak striker. It was tough, but here we're going to go into penalties. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign out, guys. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the penalties, and I'm not going to tell you what happens and let you guys enjoy them. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll talk to you guys next time. All right, see you later. Missed it, rattles off the bar, which is still shaking, but he's missed it. Oh yes, never looked like missing it. It's uh, Landon Donovan's turn. Yes, no problem. Expertly done. Well, what a responsibility, what a chance. If the keeper saves this, he wins the game for them. He stopped it. Oh, yes. What a way to win a game. The keeper has done it. The decisive stop. It's been a long night. Thank you for being with us right to the bitter end. That's exactly what it was for the losers. Good night. It was anything but a good night for them.